Welcome to its Rafiq. So in this video I am going to discuss the question paper of class 10 computer science Cambrook district. So first true and false. Here I am just uh, saying I am not going to discuss all the questions I am only going to discuss the new questions because uh, many questions are repeated one. So in true and false the first one and last one is false and B and C are true and in fill in the blanks first one will be HTML, second one inbox, third one root, fourth one do while. And for MCQ, A is show and B1 is number three option employee underscore name. And one word number A internet, number B URL, number C padding, number D variable, number E loop, number F spam, number Z cardinality number H constraint and this number five questions all are repeated questions which are generally used to come so I as I have already given these answers in another video so I am not going to solve it again then here you can see the difference between character and worker this is the most common questions which coming repeatedly in its examination so learn these answers and uh, two rules for naming table these are also very important questions you should learn this one for your examination how you can avoid uh, this all then number C 6C this is uh, for three marks draw XML tree so to draw this XML tree first we'll find the root element that one will draw at top here our root element is catalog so at top we'll draw catalog after catalog we'll draw ebook inside ebook we have two books book one and book two so in after ebook we'll draw two children book one in left hand side book two in right hand side inside book one we'll draw two more boxes title and price and we'll also write the values so this way we'll draw this tree and uh, if you still have confusion to draw this tree you can write in comment section uh, i'll send you the answer in your message uh, mobile number or whatever then uh, <coughs> these are also common questions only now here number c1 write the following in if else following if else statement using conditional operator so the condition is if number modulus 2 equal equal 0 result even else result odd so how we'll write it so question 7 c1 we'll do this way first we'll write result equal we'll write the that one and modulus to double equal zero then we'll write question mark and here we'll write first even 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 then colon and within double quotation odd just this is the answer for question c1 now let's go to question c2 so what will be the output of this this one so variable a b a is 5 plus 6 modulus 2 so we'll here follow both mass 6 modulus 2 6 modulus 2 so this uh, answer will got as 0 so 5 plus 0 it is 0 uh, 5 plus 0 it is 5 and b here 5 plus 6 it is 11 because we are going to solve bracket first then 11 modulus 2 will get 1 so answer you will write like this way uh, number 2 We'll write output then write a equal we are getting the value of a5 and b equal we are getting the value is 1 so this will be the answer of number 2 then we'll come to question d1 we have to convert this loop into for loop where i equal 1 s equal 0 and it can go to less than 10 it's time s plus i and i plus 2 so how i will do it question d 1 first we'll write the variable variable i as equal 0 then we'll write 4 inside here we'll initialize i as 1 then we'll write the condition i less than equal to 10 then we'll write the increment which is i plus equal 2 then 
we'll write the bracket inside bracket part here as equal s plus i and uh, i we don't have to write because we already included inside the for loop so this will be the answer of question number d1 now let's move to question d2 here what will be the output a is 10 b is 1 and it can go till 5 and here you can see it's time b plus a a minus 2 so we have to show the value of b so first we'll write here two numbers like uh, we'll write as this way b and a and it's given that b is 1 a is 10 when first it go inside the loop as uh, let's make the notepad smaller so that you can see the code here as it go inside the loop you can see b equal b plus 1 means 1 plus 10 it will be 11 now it will go to next line in next line it is equal a minus 2 means 10 minus 2 it is 8 again this 2 plus 11 plus 8 it will be uh, how much 19 19 then again uh, minus 2 so it will be 6 again 19 plus 6 19 plus 6 how much we'll get uh, 25 isn't it and here 6 minus 2 it's 4 so can you see like this uh, first it's the initial value of b is 1 a is 10 when it comes inside the loop so b plus a means 10 plus 1 11 and the a will be 8 again it will go there it will calculate 11 plus 8 19 and b will uh, a will be 6 again it will enter inside the loop uh, 19 plus 6 it's 24 or 25 and here it's a uh, the value of a will be 4 and now condition is false because the value of uh, 4 is less than 5 so here the loop will start uh, stop so we'll get the answer is output Twenty-five. Now let's move the next question. So here see question B two and three. Write the HTML code to create an image link. So how we can create here and here given two marks and the next question write HTML code to create an email link. Here also two mark four marks just for two lines. So let's do the question too fast and we have to create an image link. So first we'll write a h r e f then link here we'll write img s r c equal image then bracket close a close. Just we'll write this much and we'll get two marks that's so easy to score mark and number three here we'll write a mail to because we are creating an email link then after mail oh sorry a href then after that we'll write mail to after mail to we'll give colon and we'll write here one simple email address suppose abc at the rate someone dot com then quotation close bracket close send email then a close so just this part you will write for question number three for creating an email link and he will score too much for that now we'll move to the next question here mysql command Activate the database name hospital. So, in today's exam only, I have seen many students are writing the answer is uh, use database hospital. When you are activating the database, you don't need to say that this is a database. Just you will write use hospital. So the query will be for nine 
के यूज हॉस्पिटल देन सेमी कॉलोन जस्ट दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर ए नंबर बी वी नेम द स्टूडेंट टेबल स्टूडेंट लेट्स इट मेक इट स्मॉल सो दैट यू कैन सी द क्वेश्चन now rename the table student to student detail so we'll write alter table student then rename we'll write the old name old we write the new name like a uh, s t u d e n t detail then semicolon now number c change the column student id to student stu id so we'll write same thing alter table student change then we'll write the old name which is a student id then we'll write the new name which is stu id then the data type we can put here anything uh, suppose integer and semicolon number d display the structure of table so we'll write describe d e s c or describe student so this will be the answer of number d number e we have to display the content of the table inside the student means whatever information are there in inside the table that we need to see so we'll use select query select star from student so this will be the answer of question number e I hope you have understood the answers. If you still have any confusions, you can write in comment sections. And please, uh, if you want to know what type of question might come in your oral or viva, you can check my channel tomorrow. I'll upload some important or some common questions which may ask in viva. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.